Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Halloween is here, and nothing says Halloween like a carved pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And today, we're going to show you how to make your own carved jack-o'-lantern with a science twist. You can think of today's challenge as a STEAM challenge because we're adding some art to all the science. Now, most jack-o'-lanterns light up because there's a candle inside. Our jack-o'-lantern's still going to light up, but that's no candle inside. It's science. If you take a peek inside our jack-o'-lantern, you'll find an LED light bulb. And on the back of our jack-o'-lantern, you'll find an electrical circuit. Our jack-o'-lantern has a face and a stem, but it's powered by science. And we're gonna show you how to make your own. You'll need some basic art supplies to get started. We used orange construction paper, some tissue paper of any color, and we used a styrofoam plate, although you can also make a paper plate work. And for the science materials, you're gonna need some LED light bulbs, some flat batteries, and then some kind of metal tape. You don't have to use the specialty copper tape. We bought this metal tape from the home center, and it's gonna work just fine. Now to get started on the face of our jack-o'-lantern, we simply use the plate to trace a circle on a piece of construction paper and cut it out. Now I'm ready to draw a face. And for this, I would suggest starting with a pencil just in case you make a mistake, and then going over those pencil lines with a nice dark marker. Those nice dark lines are going to give me a nice clean line to cut out and follow. Now it's time to cut. Okay, next I'm ready to flip this over and tape a piece of tissue paper down to the back. I guess you could glue the tissue paper, but we're just gonna put two or three pieces of tape to make sure our tissue paper is nice and flat. Now we're ready for our LED light bulbs, and if you buy a kit like this, you can get all different colors of LED lights. I'm gonna simply go with a white light for this, Now, a quick note on this light bulb. You'll find that one leg on the light bulb is actually longer, and that's gonna be my positive lead. The shorter leg is gonna be my negative lead. You just need to remember that when we're making our circuit. Next, I'm gonna take my plate, and I'm gonna use a pencil to poke a hole about in the center of that plate. And I don't want it too big because the LED light bulb should just fit into the plate and poke through the other side. Now I'm gonna take that LED light bulb out and set it aside because now it's time to make my circuit. I'm going to use this metal tape to make a positive and a negative line for my circuit. To do that, I'm just gonna tear a piece of tape that's extra long because I want the tape to actually be the stem to my pumpkin. The nice thing about this metal tape is it tears really easily. You could also use the scissors to just cut it. Because this tape is so wide, we're gonna use it to scissors to cut strips. We find that the wider the strip, the easier they are to work with. So you can take a strip like this and cut it into fourths or thirds. It's really up to you and your preference as far as how wide you want this tape strip to be. So now I'm ready to go. Stick the tape to the plate, run it out to the edge. What I like to do here when I get to the edge is I'm gonna double the tape back on itself. So I'm gonna leave the backing on and fold it back over itself. So that's gonna be my pumpkin stem. Now I'm ready to pull the backing off. I have my metal tape. I'm gonna just stick it back over onto itself. This can be a little tricky because it's so sticky. So you wanna do your best to line it up. And I like to stick it onto the plate. And I also like to take a pencil and mark this, or even a marker, and mark this as my positive or negative. So 
Let's do the same for negative. Again, I want it to run parallel. I don't want them to cross. And I'm going to make this my negative lead. So how do I get these two to cross? That's the question. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold one of those legs over so that it reaches the other strip. And if I have a little excess there, I can just kind of tuck that down. And now I should have a pumpkin stem. And I'm almost ready to see if this thing lights up. Now there's a reason why we like to put the metal tape down first is because it makes a better contact with the LED legs. So I'm going to keep in mind that this is the longer leg. I'm going to bend them both so that when I stick them, stick that LED light through the plate, you can see here the positive leg is touching the positive strip, the negative leg is touching the negative strip. Now I need to tape those down with another piece of my metal tape. And this piece does not have to be long at all. And I'm gonna put the piece of tape right over top. What I like to do is take a pencil then and gently make sure that tape is coming into contact with that positive leg from my LED light bulb. Let's repeat the same on the negative side. Now I always like to test it at this point to see if this works. So now I bring in my battery. The battery will tell you if it's positive or negative. You can see a plus sign here on the battery. That means this side is positive. The other side would be negative. So put the positive side down. We'll see if it lights up and I'll turn some lights off here. Turn some lights off and see if it lights up. And you can see when I make contact, my LED lights up. Now I'm almost done. So I'm gonna make sure that the stem of my pumpkin's up top, put my face on my jack-o'-lantern, and now just use a couple pieces of tape to make sure that my face stays on the plate, covers up my LED light. Now it's time to give this thing a test run. You can see that if I play around with it a little bit here, my jack-o'-lantern glows. So we finished our jack-o'-lantern's face and the circuit on the back. Now it's time to turn out the lights and really enjoy these jack-o'-lanterns. But before I do that, I just wanna give you a tip. If you find that your jack-o'-lantern doesn't glow that brightly with one battery, you can always stack two batteries together and get a brighter effect. Now it's time to turn off all the lights and see our jack-o'-lanterns glow. So that's one battery. Now watch the difference when I add a second battery. I go to a second battery and man, that thing really glows. Let's check out some of the other designs we made. Here we have a purple face, more of a traditional jack-o'-lantern face. Our sad face. And finally, our shocked face. So this Halloween, try having some fun using science. Thanks for watching.